Royal Highness, Princess Maxima, Your Excellencies, um, Mayor of Maastricht, Governor of the Province of Limburg, Distinguished Guests. Philip Huben was Mayor of Maastricht in the period 1985-2002. And he was a very important man because he did great things for this city. Two things especially stand out. First of all, he made sure that the Maastricht Treaty was signed here in Maastricht, and that treaty, as you all know, resulted in the introduction of the euro in Europe. And the second important thing that he did was that he brought the Maastricht School of Management from Delft to Maastricht. Uh, Philip Huben um, has been so important that MSM has decided to honor his achievements with an award, an award that we give to the best thesis and that's the Philip Huben Award. You see it here on my left side. The Philip Huben Award itself has been created by a local artist here that everybody knows, Mr. Oppie Drielsma. I think he is... Some, you can see him in the light now and maybe you could stand up. <laughs> because we are 60 years old now, we have decided to give two thesis awards this year. One is for the best thesis in Maastricht, and the other is for the best thesis in the outreach. Permit me to say a few words about both theses. I start with the one that was written here in Maastricht. It was written by a man who told me one day that he was working for foreign investors in his country. And he also told me uh, that he lost quite a lot of money for these foreign investors. And the reason was not that the stock market was underperforming or moving in an adverse direction. The reason was that the foreign exchange market didn't do what everyone had hoped. And that sort of um, turned around his investment results. And so he got interested in the precise relationship between stock market movements and exchange rate movements. And already two weeks after he arrived here in Maastricht, he came to me and he said, can I write a thesis about this topic? And I said, sure, why not? It's an interesting topic to take a look at. And without any hesitation, he immediately started to work on his thesis. And his thesis was last week defended and rewarded with a grade of 95. That's really exceptional. Um, he worked very hard on it, and if you look at the end result, it's a solid piece of work. It's great uh, scholarship that he has shown. And he came up with some very interesting results. For instance, that there is a long-run relationship that runs from exchange markets to stock markets. And that in the short run, this relationship is exactly the opposite. Um, and it also turned out that his results were very applicable in small, emerging, open economies like the one in which he is living. He also comes up with practically implementable policy recommendations for both portfolio investors and for central banks who implement monetary policy. And then if you look at his thesis, it's clear that the winner of the Huben Award in Maastricht has a solid grasp uh, of uh, the most sophisticated econometric techniques. And his, the use of these taxis, techniques is fully in line with uh, the current practice in econometric literature. And that's an outstanding achievement for an MBA thesis. The second thesis that has won an award uh, was chosen from six theses that were nominated. And the thesis is written in Egypt by a lady who was interested in the problem uh, in the problems of urbanization and sustainable development. As we all know, cities everywhere in the world are growing very rapidly, and urbanization, if not properly addressed, uh, causes, tends to cause tremendous problems. Traffic congestion, health problems, education problems, um, uh, public utilities that are collapsing, etc. And uh, in rich countries or in developed nations, Authorities usually use sophisticated urban planning techniques to avoid these problems. But in many developing countries like Egypt, uh, this is different. And the winning thesis proposes 
a, a simulation model, a system dynamic simulation model that can be used by policymakers to address problems of urbanization. Interestingly, this thesis confirms notions that are by now very common in models of new economic geography and the not so new uh, trade theory, notably uh, the uh, notion of agglomeration. Uh, one example, for instance, is this. If you increase spending, the thesis finds that this does not necessarily reduce urbanization problems. Increased spending increases uh, concentration of economic activity in cities, and greater concentration of economic activities makes cities more attractive. And because they become more attractive, there tends to be a strain on public utilities. And if public utilities are falling apart, then obviously that does not improve the quality of life, but does the opposite. And so also this thesis comes up with very practical recommendations for policymakers. One interesting one, which is probably very counterintuitive, is uh, I think worth of telling you. Um, we all believe that providing cheap housing, for instance, is a very good policy, it's very attractive. But in the long run, as this thesis shows, these policies may be counterproductive because uh, you shoot yourself in the foot with it. They aggravate urbanization problems. And so, the thesis suggests that if you use a, a system dynamic simulation approach, Egyptian policymakers might want to reconsider their policies that they have designed to address uh, urbanization problems. Okay, um, enough said now about the content of the theses. Uh, together with the winners, I would like to invite Mr. van der Linden to the stage to uh, give the award. And then now, it is time to reveal the name of the two winners. I, it is my, it is my, it's not my heart that's beating, but it's the, the heart of the winners that you hear. They probably also have a microphone, but it is my great pleasure to invite to the podium Samson Agligo from Ghana. And and Mrs. Nagla Mohammed Fami from Egypt. Congratulations. Thank you. You deserve it. Congratulations. Thank you. Mr. Chairman.